This conference will now be recorded. This is Bill O'Brien, 9th District Councilman, Chairman of the Parks and Rec Committee, calling the September 7th, 2023 meeting to order at 6 p.m. And I have a motion for approval of the minutes for July 6th. Absolutely. This is Rick Marcone. I'd like to make a motion to approve the uh, minutes from our regular meeting on July 6th. And this is uh, Sean Kennedy. I'll second that. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Thank you. Pass it unanimously. And uh, Chad's not even on, so we can go right to Amy. All right, guys. Uh, this is Amy Knorr, Rec Superintendent. Um, so beaches closed on Labor Day. Um, we had a pretty good summer. Uh, the new beach stickers, um, you know, was a little crazy, uh, you know, at times with um, the switching over in the middle of the summer from the old sticker to the new sticker. But um, all in all, worked out well. Um, we, the, you know, people have dramatically slowed coming into the office getting stickers, um, but we seem to be doing very well with that. Um, adult and youth programs, all our new fall and winter stuff is all posted up on Rec Desk. Um, we've already been accepting uh, folks to being signed up. Uh, adult pickleball, we are um, allowing folks to start registering on Monday for that. Um, we have adult volleyball is going well. We're doing some um, yoga at the beach right now is going well. We'll do some indoor yoga and um, I have um, archery. We offer archery for um, adults as well. And the kids is our basic, you know, kids program that we offer, basketball, track, soccer, kitchen kids, those types of programs. Um, we do have open gym that's going to be starting in the next uh, couple weeks on Friday night. So we switched it to Fridays um, for the kids. So we will have a middle school program and a high school program and an adult program on Fridays. Um, Ella, we are still open for Adult Swim on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, we were lucky enough to have two lifeguards who um, will be around and aren't in high school, so that's great for us that so we'll be able to stay open. We're going to be offering aqua size on uh, Monday, Wednesday nights, and swimming lessons are going to be offered on Saturdays, which is when we have the most staff. Most of the high school kids um, are available to, to help us out on Saturdays. Um, field use. Um, I would say we're 95% done with all of our field use for fall, still waiting uh, on a few game schedules from some leagues, but uh, we are moving along with that. Um, concerts on the green are done. We ended with the Stratford Community Band who had gotten rained out earlier in the summer. Um, big events coming up this weekend. We have the Down and Dirty for Sterling House. The Latin Music Festival is on the green. Next weekend, we have Bonfire on the Beach on Saturday, and then there's a car show at Short Beach on Sunday. And um, the end of September, there's a, uh, a beach cleanup going on um, at Short Beach. There's actually a beach cleanup this weekend as well at Long Beach. Um, but all in all, um, all is moving well. One thing I do want to talk about, we don't need to pick a date or do anything, but I just want to give everybody an update that um, the tree planting for Ed is going to be pushed to – the beginning of the um, concert series in June. Um, there was some concern about planting a tree now um, that it might not last. So uh, we're probably gonna do the tree planting um, and a memorial uh, for Ed to start in June. So hopefully we can do a little planning for that. And you guys can hopefully help me um, write something on a plaque for him, which is what um, we need to do. So. Aside from that, I'm done unless you guys have questions. Amy, do we sell many uh, season beach passes? We sold, I think, about 45 to 50 beach passes for the season, yes. Is that typical, normal? I think so. I mean, maybe a little more than last year. Um, I, I'd have to check to make sure. Um, but about, I think it's about maybe a little bit more, but around the same, around 50. With all the events you mentioned, I want to mention, too, that the PAR 3 is a Rotary Tournament next week. We have the 20th Annual Sheridan Tournament the following week. Then the third week, is it the Friends of Booth, uh, Friends of Short Beach are having one? The, or the oh, Be, great. The Be Kind group. And then the following week is the Veterans, so there's a whole bunch of tournaments coming up. 
Anybody else have anything for Amy? If not, thanks, Amy. Thanks for calling in. All right, guys, I'm jumping off. If something, uh, there's a question after that you need answered, um, just uh, let Ailey know and she'll get in touch with me. Thanks, guys. Is uh, Chad with us? Somebody's joining. Maybe that's him. Okay. Um, so I have Catherine, Sean, Prez, Bill, Rick, Bob, Jekyll, and a caller. Who has called in? Is that Bob Jaco, the caller at the bottom? Oh, I see Bob. Okay. And then there's a caller yeah. and somebody joined. Caller two. Anybody? Okay. And we don't have Chad. All right. I'll text him. I keep forgetting we're not on team, so I was cursing you all, wondering I was why I was the first one there and no one was joining me. Yeah, you know what that is, Bob? <laughs> it's it's something so weird with um, the town's Outlook system. So I create a meeting in GoTo, mm -hmm. and the yeah, I saw I after a few minutes, I, yeah, after a few minutes, I figured I probably should go check to the email you sent today about the meeting so yeah, and sure enough pretty big reason, button that says click here yeah because it's a go-to meeting but for some reason in outlook it changes it always changes it to a, a go it changes it to a oh meeting. interesting yeah interesting yeah go to works great so okay by the way before we forget before we get started if anyone knows do are there porta potties at uh, Roosevelt Forest in the fall, like during September and October? Yes. We have okay. them there through October 31st. Okay, thank you. Kind of in the uh, in the parking lot off to the right where they are, somewhere in that area? Have, at the very end um, of the parking lot on Leo Lane, like off to the right a little bit. Yeah, 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 like you're headed back to the scout camp. I know, I know there. Okay, thank you. Well, let me uh, give a few updates. Waiting for if if Chad doesn't come on, I guess we'll just move on. But uh, Longbrook tennis courts is no update except the money's there, so I think it's going to get done before next spring. Morgan Francis property. We talked in uh, the July meeting that I was going to reach out to certain people, but the mayor said no. They her administration would handle that, and they haven't given me an update. Um, I want to let everybody know the new scoreboard the breakettes ordered for DeLuca Field and paid for is installed. Hmm. And they're all set for next year. Has anybody seen the, the new fencing at Flood? I think it looks great. It's kind of that wood fencing kind of like they put down at Paradise Green. Hmm. I haven't driven by there. I was speaking of driving by. I had a message from Tim Sepatelli that I'll read to everybody that I was going to throw it out to Chad, but I don't even know if this is his area or not, but they did a super fun site on Quail Street. If anybody's familiar with that, where they cleaned it all out across mm -hmm. from Worcester mm -hmm. and a few dozen trees were planted there last year and it looked good in the beginning, but Tim said now the area is overgrown with three to five foot weeds. He's afraid the trees are going to get lost to the weeds. Is there a maintenance plan for this area? I'm not sure if this falls under responsibility of public works or the Superfund crew. So I'll have to reach out to public work and ask them about that because I have no idea. Yep. I was going to praise the Parks Department for a couple of things that happened recently. Academy Hill, where the monuments are and the bricks was just completely overgrown and weeds grown up through the bricks and what happened was volunteers used to take care of that. And like so often happens, the volunteers stopped doing it. So after I told Chad about it, within a day or two, they got in and cleaned it up real nice. And then there was a problem with the, the flag. 
going into Booth Park near the main parking lot, the big flag there was hanging by one one uh, like strap, the other one, had, and the rope was broken, so it was impossible to get it. They told Chad about it, and they sent their truck over the next day and took care of it. So they've been very responsive, and got to give them credit for that. I think he's going to join. He didn't realize it was now. Here he is. Chad's here. Oh, Chad's here. There's Chad. You're late. You got to stay after school and clean the blackboard. And I lost all the cameras. Oh, we can hear you. We can hear you. It, Chad's on mute. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm here, Bill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we oh. had. Um, yeah, we had. Um, we had Amy's report. Yeah, Amy's so report. You're up. You're up. So I'm glad. Actually, I'm glad, I want to say I'm glad Aileen asked for a virtual meeting because. If we had had it outdoors tonight, it would have been miserable with the heat, unless we did a poolside at Chad's house. <laughs> um, I would have liked that. Yeah. And your daughter would have loved it. <laughs> exactly. So you can give your report now. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, we're just kind of getting ready for fall sports and all of that stuff. You know, uh, I think all the high school teams start tonight. Uh, we've been working on you know, properties, uh, cleaning properties in Bird's Eye, doing some projects here and there, like Bird's Eye Complex, kind of cleaning them out. Uh, we're working in the PD. We've got a, a bunch of stuff going, as well as, you know, we never had the grass burn out this year, so grass mowing and everything is just on the top of our list. Uh, we've got some, some stuff ordered. Uh, the Yelp Playground is ordered for Bird's Eye Complex, but it's a three to four month lead time. Um, the concrete structures are ordered. Those are, they didn't give me a lead time yet, but we ordered such a sizable order. I'm sure it's going to be a little while. Uh, we have a couple playgrounds slated for, uh, Disbro Park or Disbro Street, the old spider playground, um, and a couple school playgrounds coming up too. Did you guys get that or no? Yeah. Okay. You ready for questions? <laughs> yeah, sure. Anybody having? No. Nope. Uh, there's something I wanted. To... Oh, uh, just before you came on, Chad, I was reading a text that Tim Sepatelli sent about the, um, the super fun site. Remember on Quail Street, they did that clean up and planted trees? Yes. Are we responsible for that area? Uh, that's a question for Kelly. I could I could field it to her, find out, and then report back. I'm yeah, not she, sure if they released it to us or if they hold it for a year. I'm not sure. He said that you know they planted a few dozen trees. Now the area yep. is overgrown with three to five foot weeds. So yeah, why don't yeah, we check I don't, with Kelly. I'm, yeah, we could check with Kelly. I could check with her because I don't know if it's supposed to go back to a natural area or. If there's supposed to be some kind of conservation maintenance, um, I could find that out. Yeah. Not sure. I seem to remember from the meetings I listened in on, it's just supposed to go back to natural, but. I think so too, but I, I again, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. I would like to find, uh, I would like to, you know, find out from Kelly or somebody who was involved in the actual planning. Another thing I noticed in the minutes from the last meeting, you had talked about the graduation banners, celebrate Stratford banners. I uh, just want to give an update that uh, Renee gave us permission to put up 30 veterans banners this November to follow up what was very successful last year. Oh, very cool. All right. Yeah, not a problem. I think that's it. Okay. So, um, Oh, uh, before before you go on, Bill, I know hey, Chad. I don't know if you were on yet or whatever, but uh, you might as well take the uh, accolades. Bill was, was commenting how uh, responsive 
you were for a couple of issues that he needed to uh, take care of, uh, uh, especially the weeds and stuff around the uh, memorial up at the uh, Academy Hill. And there was yeah. another. And, uh, oh, yeah, anyway, the flag booth. We, we appreciate the hard work you guys do. Uh, thank you. I mean, communication is key. You know, like everything else, we can't be everywhere at once. Everywhere. So, you know, to have they don't people have tell us that we need help, help, so we need help, help or they need help. help, we're here. Would you know, Chad, off the, know, the, Chad, the scoreboard at DeLuca got hooked up for electricity yet? Or was... As far as I know, it's complete. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, we were there today because there was substantial damage from the lily that they used. Uh, which is understandable because it was right before we had some rain. Uh, so we were fixing so the, we were the fixing ruts. And, and, and then that, I, I believe the scoreboard is functional because Brian, I don't think, was leaving until it was functional. Uh, good. And then Renee mentioned at the public works meeting that the um, the bathroom project apparently is done. Yeah, that's all done. Yep. So that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody have any uh, new business? Uh, new business. If not, um, if not. under old business, uh, there's no updates there that I know of. Mm -hmm. And with that, if there's nothing else, yeah, I guess nothing else. I guess next Thursday, week, October 5th, Thursday, October fifth at six p.m. And if there's no other comments, this is Rick Marcone. I'd make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. And I'll second. Yep. Go, Bob. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Aye. All right. Thanks, everybody, for a nice quick meeting. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Hey, you too. Okay. Have a good one.